Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to the channel and another little mini vlog here. I thought I would go through how I style my hair curly because I don't think I've ever actually sat down and talked through the process of what I do and how I style my hair. So I figured we could do that today. I do naturally have wavy curly hair texture, kind of a loose curl pattern. Uh, it is low density, pretty fine in texture. Get a little bit coarse and dry at the ends. I have a little bit of bleach damage in there. I have uh, just normal wear and tear on my hair. It's also quite long, almost down to my butt. In the back, I have trimmed it a little bit recently. And yeah, there's a little bit of bleach in there. There's some hair color in there, but it's in better condition than it's been in a lot of years. So anyway, uh, this a little bit about my hair and I like hydrating products but lightweight hydration. Uh, I like protein products, but not too, too much because it will dry my hair out. I try to keep a nice balance. So I figure I'm gonna go through all the things that I do to my hair to make it wavy curly. And every wash day, doing the wavy curly, you never know what you're gonna get. It can be a little bit of a trust the process, mystery type of thing by the end of it. It's like. Okay, that's so what my hair looks like today. It's, you, 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 can't, you can't really count on it being exactly the same every time. Some wash days are just not great. Other wash days are amazing. So yeah, I do have far more good wash days than I do bad these days yeah, now. But uh, there was definitely a time when my hair was, uh, I was like, am I doing this right? What's wrong? Why does it look so bad? But it was just a little trial and error, getting my hair help, a little more healthy helped, and uh, practicing and seeing what products work in my hair. So I've pulled all my kind of go-to products for the moment. And yeah, I did previously or recently kind of bleach my hair a bit, kind of. I did bleach my hair a little bit and I did bleach the front and all that. So I'm doing, giving it a little extra love. So I'll be going through all of that stuff as well. And yeah, so currently my hair has been soaking in a rosemary oil, <laughs> the Miel rosemary something oil that has been sitting in my hair for 24 hours now because the day got away from me. I meant to just sleep in it. Here we are. And I also have some castor oil towards the end of my hair because I ran out of the rosemary oil. So I do need to repurchase that. Anyways, so that's what's going on currently with the hair. I'm gonna take my earrings off, take it out and detangle it from where it's been in this bun since yesterday. Well, I, I mean, I've redone the bun, like neatened it up, but it's been pulled back in a hair mask for 24 hours. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those super thorough double wash, double cleanse days. I currently don't have a clarifying shampoo on hand, so I'm just gonna double cleanse with my favorite shampoo, which is the Super Zero Bars. I'm gonna be using the one for the bond building repairing one. That's what we're gonna to use today. And yeah, I'll put on the screen, of course, what, which one it is. I absolutely adore Super Zero's shampoos. I think they are some of the best shampoos on the market and they're awesome. They're just these cute little shampoo bars. So that's what we're gonna be, gonna be cleansing with today is that and uh yeah you can see i have a lot of oil in here this is castor oil from this point down and after i get good and cleansed i will do a little three minute miracle moist mask from ozzy since we're doing a super duper cleanse i'm just gonna do a little bit of this in there nothing too too much and then we will do a regular conditioner with the ozzy moist conditioner so yeah this is my, my little shampoo pairing or conditioning pairing. I only do the mask like maybe every other wash day, if that. Depends what my hair needs. And I'm mostly just gonna focus this towards the mid lengths to ends. And mostly I'm gonna be using this as just to make sure everything's detangled and nice and happy. And then we will follow that up with some K18 in place of my curl cream. I normally do use a very small amount of curl cream just to help detangle for my curl clumps and all that. But today we're just gonna use the K18 um, leave-in molecular repair mask. I'm trying to use this up mostly and my hair does need a little bit of love since I did do the, the whole bleaching situation and I feel like, you know, this will probably help. 
So yeah, we're gonna do that after the hair is clean and we'll detangle and all that jazz and I'll see you then. But let's go ahead and get this detangled. My bath water is currently waiting for me. And yeah, here's what we have. And it's really nice to detangle your hair when it has oil in it, because it's so easy. Uh, my hair is very, very tangly, a little bit hard to brush out. So I'm definitely a curl cream fan because of that. But the other products I'll be using today are pretty hydrating in the hair. Now, since I do have all this oil in my hair, I am gonna make sure to double cleanse really thoroughly and make sure my hair is very, very squeaky clean because of that. And also the perk of using an oil in your hair, not only does it do like, you know, the benefits of it hydrating your hair and um, helping your scalp out, making everything all nice and happy. I treat it kind of like a pre-poo treatment. You know, I really do make sure I work it into the scalp, but the other perk of doing that is also that it breaks down product that is in your hair. It breaks down oiliness, sweat, built up, uh, just anything that gathers in your hair. Just like you would double cleanse with makeup with an oily product, like a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, it's the same concept. It will help the scalp just get a little cleaner. So it's a, it's a multi-purpose, because not only is it giving me all these lovely benefits from the oils within, um, it is also helping me cleanse my hair even though you do have to cleanse a little better to get the oils out, uh, it all it works. Now, I don't usually put this much oil in my hair. This is just a once in blue moon type of thing. I usually just put the rosemary nail oil through the root area and a bit on the ends. But my hair is feeling a little uh, beat up from the bleach. So, also my favorite brush for everything right now is the tangle teaser for curly hair curly coarse hair i don't know what the difference is with it with the other tangle teasers but it's the one i have and i just absolutely love it for styling and yeah, yes so i'm gonna go ahead and get this all washed and i will see you in a moment to throw that k18 in so let's let's get this head clean look at this let's get this clean there's also so much product in here, <laughs> so much. I've gone to the gym multiple times. This hair needs, this hair needs some love. <laughs> so, okay, I'll see you in just a second. Okay, <clears throat> we are out of the bath and hair is clean. I do, I like soak in the bath, but then I wash my hair out of the faucet. It's just, it's my uh, process. <laughs> I just had a clip to get out of my face. So I'm gonna do now, now that it's, is conditioned it is clean and all the things and look at that not a ton of wet frizz going on which is great and it's a little bit wet and seaweedy which is good it sounds bad but it's good we're gonna take some of the k18 molecular repair now this has to go in and you have to let it sit for four minutes and you don't rinse it and this can kind of work in place of a leave-in conditioner curl cream situation today so I'm just gonna take a squirt of this and work it through my hair. We'll do two squirts, about that much. Really focusing it in the front. That's where my most damage is on my blonde bits. Cause I can't stop leaching them apparently. Get in there good, I'm gonna squish it in. Brush and we're going to tangle. And look how sleek. These nice curl clumps we're getting. Good, good, good. You want? It's kind of like this when it's wet <laughs> before you style. Depending on your preferences. It's, this works best on me to keep me from getting frizz because my hair will go absolutely frizzy. And when I brush it out, it will stay kind of straight. And then as the water dissipates from it, it'll spring up. My hair is pretty wet at the moment. But you can see if I do that, it. It starts to go into a slight ringletty shape. A little bit more, I have more like a beachy, mermaidy <laughs> texture, but it does go ringletty. Sometimes it just depends on its mood. Some days I can do all the same techniques 
and I will have just a loose wave. Some days I will have full tight curls. It just very unpredictable <laughs> hair type. But I consider myself quite lucky with my hair type because it's very versatile. Just my microfiber towel. This is from Madison Reed, this particular one. I also have one from Colleen Rothschild. Uh, I also like the Turpy Twists. But yeah, look at these, look at these nice little curl clumps and like hardly any wet frizz. That's good, 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 good. And yeah, it's starting to, see, it's starting to curl up a little bit on the ends here as it gets a little bit drier. So I'm just gonna let it hang out for four minutes and just in the towel for a minute. But I was thinking about the other day, I always wish I had curlier hair, wish I had more tight spirally ringlets or this or that, you know? And I was thinking about like, girl, you know how lucky you are with your hair texture? because you can do everything with it. You can work on, <laughs> put a couple more extra scrunchies in, you can get that ringletty texture. You can kind of half wash and go, give it a quick little scrunch, very minimal, get some nice beachy waves. And I can blow up my hair really easily as well. Like I can, my hair texture is someone that can kind of do it all. So why am I over here wishing I had someone else's hair texture, but my hair texture is great. And I like to embrace its natural texture, enhance it, and bring out the most in it. Because if I just let it air dry, it goes, it's wavy, but then it's frizzy, and it's a little weird. So it does need that little enhancement, either blow, blowing it out straight with a little, you know, blow out look, or giving it a little bit of a curl to it with uh, some scrunching and doing basically how you style curly hair. It benefits from either or. I can go both ways in my hair and that's great. It's cool to have those options and it not be a lot of work either way. It is definitely more time consuming doing the curly hair just because I take my time with it. I'm always gonna have to touch it up. I'm never gonna have that hair that just wakes up and is perfect. Like that's just not a thing for me and that's fine because I can do so much with it. And do I wish it was thicker? absolutely do I wish I had thicker hair. That's the one thing I will say I wish I had, was just a little, a little bit thicker. Um, it is, it was quite thin for a very long time because of hormonal issues, but you know, thyroid. But a lot of that has gotten better with medical intervention and I just take a lot better care of myself physically now and noticed that my hair has improved because of all those things, like the hair coming out, growing out of my scalp. And I also do take the time to take care of my scalp now, which was something I never considered before. Like I do pre-poo treatments, I do hair masks, but I do ones, things that are focused for scalp health, like skincare for the scalp. I love, there's a Bumble and Bumble clay mask for your scalp. That thing is absolutely amazing. Um, dry brush has one, or dry bar, sorry, has one. It's called the hair tonic, good stuff. And it's like, it's basically, that one's like a shampoo product that you can kind of pre-cleanse your hair with. The Bumble and Bumble one is like a truly like kind of like a clay mask that lathers. It is so nice. It is such a lovely experience to use. I, oh, I cannot wait to get my hands on another one of those. I, sh I should have bought one during the Sephora sale. I do focus a little bit more on that scalp treatment type of thing, like doing the rosemary oil. I think that has done absolute wonders for my hair. And also just doing, you know, like some keratin or what I like better than the keratin to be honest with you is the Living Proof Triple Complex, Triple Bond Complex. I like it a little bit better. It's lighter in the hair, but the keratin's great too. Um, just depends on what your hair needs and what you prefer in your hair. I know the keratin can work completely opposite on some people and cause damage. But on me, it helps because my hair needs the fortifying from it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let that sit that four minutes and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna go through the rest of the stuff. What I've pulled is one, two, three, four, five, five stylers, which sounds excessive, I know, and it is, I could, you know, leave one or two out and be fine. But this is this is the, the full meal deal here, okay? Um, when I'm doing my hair in a blowout, I still use like four or five products. So yeah, they're just different 
Some products are the same, some are different. I am gonna do a whole video on doing a blowout in my hair as well. So you, I can kind of show you like the differences of what I do for either or, because I have two hairstyles. I have curly wavy, crazy, my big 80s dream hair, and I have my 90s blowout hair. <laughs> Which I'm not, admittedly, not good at doing. I, I, I can't get that nice big flip I want, but it's because my hair is not cut really that way. I have a very, very grown out kind of wolf uh, butterfly cut. It hasn't been shaped up in about a year. I've trimmed it. I do trim my own hair. Mind you, I'm telling you all this as someone who is not a stylist. I do not have any formal training in hair but I have acquired a lot of knowledge in my day through trial and error. My sister-in-law is also a hairstylist, so that kind of helps. And she has wavy curly, but actually she has very curly hair. So I learned a lot from her and my mother-in-law who also has curly hair. Uh, I know a lot of people who work in the beauty industry, so that helps as well. <laughs> I just never went to, got a certification myself. Regardless, uh, I'm coming at you with somebody who is just a normal, pretty much a normal person with access to the internet, styling my hair, and I do trim my own hair <laughs> because I know loosely kind of how to just to trim it, especially with long hair, you have a little bit of grace of not messing it up too bad. So I do have some hair cutting scissors that I keep in here, and occasionally I put my hair in the two ponytails, like the butterfly hack, and I just trim a little bit off the ends. Nothing your bag. Like I don't take more than like maybe two inches off at a time. And I'll go through, look for dead ends, trim those out, kind of touch up the layers. Am I good at it? Not necessarily. It's not, it doesn't, you're not gonna think, oh girl, did Vidal soon do your hair? You're not gonna think Guy Tang did my hair, okay? I could, I'm trying to think of a famous hairdresser and I, I'm completely blanking. But you're not gonna think of, that I paid like $500 for my haircut. No, you're gonna think, oh, that girl probably went to Fantastic Sam's and got her haircut because I'm doing it myself. <laughs> but it's good enough for me and it works and it's fine. I, I just don't like, I'm too impatient to sit down and get my hair done. I don't know why I just do not schedule the time for myself to do this. I get my sister-in-law to trim it and cut it maybe once a year. I should probably get her to cut it soon. <laughs> I'll probably in January I'll get a, a good like shaping up and all that. And she does kind of cut it in that butterfly way, but she cuts it also in kind of a curly wavy way to encourage that. So yeah, I try to kind of stick to that. I have watched a lot of Mains by Mel tutorials on hair trimming, so that helps. And yeah, I just kind of basically dust through like getting the dead ends out that I see. And, that I do often, like at least once a week, I sit down and just kind of look for dead ends and nip them out with my shears. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna let this hang out in my hair. It's probably been four minutes. Yeah, it's been 12. Okay, well, this has been the hair long enough actually, but <sighs> I'm gonna leave you here for a minute. Let this just hang out in my hair a little bit longer and then I'm gonna come back and do the rest. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Let's get the towel down. Hair has been marinating a little bit. It's not dried out or anything. It's pretty, pretty wet still. Nothing, just not dripping, which is fine. So what we do now is go in with a bit of the BB Hairdresser Invisible Oil UV Heat Protecting Primer. I really like this stuff. It's pretty good. It doesn't weigh my hair down. So I take a little bit of this, spritz it through. So we'll be using heat. This does just kind of help make everything look nice. That smells so good. All right. I'm also gonna take some of the Olaplex Blow Dry Mist. This is their Volumizing Mist, also the heat protected. This goes more towards the root on me for a little volume. Also smells awesome. Now if I hadn't used the K-18 at this time, I would be putting my curl cream in. But since we have the KT in, we don't really need that. And now I'm gonna section my hair to two sections to start. So get a nice little back section and a front section. Take the front section and put it in a clip. Again, I have fairly thin hair, so 
I don't really need to section a whole lot. I don't worry about the sections being super perfect either. I'm just gonna do my best. Okay, <laughs> sectioned. Just gonna divide this in half and get it smoothed out. So it has kind of a ribbony look to it. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of water that I have in this bottle and I also have a tiny bit of Harry's hair gel in this, like a, that much Harry's hair gel to water because it helps with the hold. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this mostly just to dampen up my hair. But there's a little bit of gel in here. I use this for refreshing. But this is just to make sure the hair is sufficiently wet for styling. I do like a little bit more water in here. Because I'm going to show you how I refresh. And that's my trick is the little bit of hair is hair gel. <laughs> Mixed with water. They'll also offer a little hold. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Strictly Curls. <sighs> Strictly Curls Curl Enhancing Styling Foam from Mark Anthony. It's my favorite, my favorite mousse of all mousses. I'm a mousse girl. Since we're just doing the bottom layers, we don't really need that much mousse. Some days I just use the mousse. Some days I do more. Again, depends on the mood. And just run this through on both sides, in both sections, all the way to the root, but not onto the scalp. And this mousse has a fantastic slip, so you can do this to distribute it very well, very easily, especially if you have hair that's in pretty good health. And then I'm going to take some of the Curl Defining Lotion from Mark Anthony. This is the Humidity Shield Lux in Long Lasting Frizz Feet Curls. This also has vitamin E and silk proteins, as does the mousse. This I can be fairly generous with, and it doesn't seem to weigh my hair down at all. It's pretty cool. So I'm just taking about a dime size amount of that, work it between both hands. And into the hair. If my hair is not feeling wet enough at this point, I can take a little bit of water and just make sure we're wet enough to style. You always want to make sure you get plenty of water in your hair. It just helps. So we'll start back here and just Take it a little bit of tension and create ribbons. When you do this, you want to make sure there is enough slip in your hair. You don't want any snagging. Okay, that's one side done. Can I get a little shake? It starts to get the curl clumps going together and get it started to curl, essentially. And do the other side. See, I'm taking it like this. And then going straight out. And then give it a shake. You see, it does start to come together with the shaking and forming into its little clumps. I'm gonna give it a little scrunch. And you wanna hear kind of a squishy sound when you're doing this. And if you feel like your curl clumps are too big, you can take a white tooth comb and separate them. I feel like a little bit bigger curl clump in my hair. I think it's, it suits my hair type, my preferred style. So my hair can look pretty stringy if I if my clumps are too small. You can see it's starting to actually form little curls or decent waves. This bottom layer doesn't usually curl curl because it's so long. All right, put that to the back. 
And let's take care of this front kind of middle portion. This is my section that tends to get the most frizz and be the most stubborn as far as the frizz goes. So I like to make sure it has plenty of product in it. All right, girl lotion, which this is basically a really light hold gel type of product and about that much. Then the hands, it's a very light hold, but it just, it helps. It does something. I think the magic really has been having a little bit of hair gel in the water. <laughs> I feel like it dilutes the hairies down such, like to the just perfect amount because that is such a thick, hard to work with gel. It has incredible hold. It's just so thick. It's hard to distribute without getting sticky and all that. All right. We do the same kind of technique here. Just brushing out with tension, getting that ribbony look. Separate things if you need to. And then scratch. All right, and we'll do the front section really quickly. This part also needs a lot of hold. A okay, little bit of mousse. Too much. Too much mousse. And we'll just put it, put it around and do the rest there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so messy with the mousse. Lotion. All right, and scratch. And I'm just going to bring everything forward and get all Scrunch took out of our. I'm just gonna everything a good little scrunch here. <sighs> Such a little process with this. This will just encourage the natural pattern you have in your hair to come out. I usually just turn my head upside down and just make sure everything is getting. A nice little scratch. You can kind of swing your hair around a little bit, get off the scalp. All right, now I'm gonna take my towel and micro cup, which I just take the towel and basically scrunch my hair gently with it. Remove excess water and product. And then you'll start to really see the curls forming. It's removing the weight of the water from it. It'll start springing up a bit. This does not feel good after a day of deadlifting. <laughs> or yesterday deadlifting. This leaning over business. My muscles are sore. And of course, you know, if you got a wonky wind like this, just give it a little twirl and kind of get it to go the way it wants to go. You can encourage it a little. <laughs> There's always that wonky curl that needs a little help. <laughs> that wants to just do this weird hook situation. But by doing this, you can kind of help form your curls and uh, reduce your drying time. Sometimes I just regular plop, put my hair up in the towel and let it hang out for a while. Just depends on the mood. But I do go side to side to kind of try to make sure it's, it's not like weird on my scalp. And it'll part however I want. And now before I Diffuse, I take a little bit of hairspray. Pantene, alcohol free. This is the most unesthetic video ever. And now we can start diffusing. I use my $20 Kiss hair dryer. Dyson, who knows hair dryers takes forever and I would like to have a Dyson. Actually, I want the one from Tracy Ellis Roth. Ross. I like her hair dryer. I'll put plugged it in. I'm gonna speed through this so you don't have to hear all the diffusing noises because it gives me the icks. But I start by hover diffusing high heat, high speed. All right, and now I pixie diffuse by reducing the heat to medium speed, low heat. And yeah, pixie diffusing is taking it portion by portion or section by section and just doing this number. I 
I also like to kind of take it and get in the root and lift and dry, make sure the roots are getting good and dry. Again, on the low speed, low heat. Okay, medium speed, medium heat. Gently rotate your head around. Okay, I have got a piece of nail that got caught on the razor and it keeps pulling hair and it's driving me nuts. It's like I have that click nail lifting <laughs> type of thing. But yeah, I'll just kind of gently move my hair one side and go back and forth doing the same technique. Does have a cast in it, it is not 100% dry. It's about 80, 75 to 80% dry. <laughs> I keep talking to you through the hair. It's about 75, 80 ish percent dry now. So, what I like to do with this step is add a little bit more hairspray just so I add it hold. Trust me, it helps. All right, we are about I would say 90% dry. <laughs> I'm under here, hello. We're about 90% dry. I know it looks wet, but that is called a cast. This is the gel cast. That is my, what is the secret to the long lasting style is the gel cast. I don't leave my hair like this. We do fluff and scrunch it out. But for the time being, I'm actually gonna leave this cast in my hair overnight. And then when I wake up, then we will actually style the hair. Did I forget to mention this is my uh, nighttime before bed hair styling. I do do all this sometimes in the morning, but it's time consuming. And I found that I can do my hair at night, leave it in the cast, sleep on my silk pillowcase with my hair and a little pineapple, wake up, judge it out, maybe touch up a couple pieces and we're good to go. So it's just, it's a little bit more time efficient for me, but yeah, the, uh, so far I think things are looking okay. I know it doesn't look great right now. Just, you gotta bear with me on this. It's, this is another trust the process. I look like a hot mess until I'm ready and fully finished with whatever it is I'm doing. Do you see this? I caught myself with the razor. It's not deep, but it just, Makes me want to gag thinking about it, but it keeps catching on everything. It's like file over it, I guess. But it keeps pulling in my hair and like mm, causing froze <laughs> that little piece. And immediately, if I see like some pieces that aren't looking great, I'll touch them up. I think we're okay, and everything else can be dealt with when the hair is dry. Like say for instance, like this, my front bits are looking weird not cooperating, I can go in there in the morning, dampen them and re hit them with a the diffuser, it'd be fine. All right, we are about 95%, about to 98% dry. Now what I'm gonna do is just leave it alone. And as it dries, I've got a few hours, a couple hours from going to bed. So I'm just gonna let it dry, that rest of that time, finish up, thoroughly dry. And then I'm gonna put it up in a pineapple. Well, actually, I'm just gonna put on a high pony on top of my head, hold it in place, and I just let it like lay on the pillow like this, and it's fine. <laughs> it works, even with all my tossing and turning I do. It it ends up being okay. But yeah, everything feels pretty dry. Don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing. Do this to check, because there's the hair cools from the heat of the blow dryer. You'll be able to feel if there's wet in it. But here's what we are looking like right now. So I'll see you in a little bit to uh, put it up for bed and show you what how things are going. Okay, we are 100% dry. It's been about an hour. I've just been doing some computer work and I'm ready for bed. So, <clears throat> next step is uh, protecting it to sleep so it doesn't get all messed up during the night. It's gonna get a little messed up. We'll fix it tomorrow. I'm probably gonna go to the gym before I even sort the hair out. Not sure, we'll see where tomorrow takes us. But I do do a little bit of 
zhuzhing it when I get up. I'm just gonna give this a root fluff before I do anything else. And by root fluff, I mean this. Just get all up in there. And shake her out. All right. And now I'm gonna take some of my Viore dry shampoo. It's in the back here. I always, I always do dry shampoo before I go to bed. Especially when my hair is at its cleanest because it keeps it cleaner longer. It really does give a lot of volume to the hair. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is flip my head upside down and I'm going to put in a high pony and I use one of these little guys for my uh, thing. Go upside down again. Lots of upside down in this video. I'm not trying to break up the cast or anything, I'm just loosening my root area up. And gently gather everything. I right, have here. Kind of towards the front a bit. I'm gonna look pretty goofy. There we go. And this is how I sleep. I just let make sure this is laying out like that. And before I lay down, just to make sure nothing goes crazy, I am gonna add a little bit of hairspray. feeling a little like soft. Now we'll see how things oh now we'll see how things look in the morning. I'll uh, check in with you then and we'll see if anything needs to be sorted out and touched up or what have you but this is this is how I sleep right here. <laughs> okay good morning. I just took the hair out of the, the little pineapple or high pony thing. Let it kind of relax, get a little root shake. So here's what we got. There's still a bit of a cast in it. We got a little bit of frizz and stuff going on, but it's not, not terrible. It actually <sighs> successful. Now, do I know I could have better results if I didn't sleep on my hair and all that beforehand and actually styled it in the morning? Probably. And some days it definitely works against me. But you know, this is just what I've been doing lately and it works. It works out for me pretty well. Let me scoot back so you can see fully what we're working with here. I should not have worn a black shirt <laughs> so you could actually see my hair, but here we are. A little bit stringy, but yeah, there's still a decent cast in here for the most part. So what I'm gonna do now that I have it kind of zhuzhed out, I'm gonna get parted how I want it. It's usually about like here. And I'm gonna grab my favorite tool, hair pick. And what I'm gonna do, start at the root. Kind of really smooth that out from underneath. And just do a little bit of this action. And I'm not gonna fully break up the cast completely and just totally brush it out. I'm just gonna soften it up basically. So my next step, taking my hair pick, I'm just gonna come through the ends. You can use a wide tooth comb. I just don't know where mine is. I have one in here. I just, I keep misplacing it. I just take the pick and just kind of brush through a little bit and kind of break stuff up because it gives me some volume. See, there's a thing where not all frizz is bad frizz. There is good frizz that allows your hair to look a little thicker, which works for me. Yeah. There is the bad frizz that when your hair just looks like a knot, that's different. This is the creating the good frizz that I, I like to call it. I'm just smoothing things out, breaking up any clumpiness. And I'm doing this very gently, not to break hair, tear anything up. We're being gentle 
and delicate with it. And this will get any crazy knots that might be in there out. But it just gives volume to that side. You see how there's like how if we compare this side that is still all crunchy looking and very defined to this little bit more fluffy look. That's what I like the little bit more fluff in my hair, a little bit of a softer appearance. I like to try to balance the volume and the definition best I can. And if I get impatient, which does happen, I'll take my Denman brush and sometimes just do this on the ends. Something about breaking up the cast on the ends really does just kind of help. And there we go. That is one side pretty much done. And you see how much fluffy, soft, just nice looking that is. It doesn't look crunchy or anything like that. It's also not frizzy. Just right. Do the other side. Now on my demon brush, I've removed most of the, um, sorry, there's hair in this, but I removed most of the rows of bristles. So there's just the four in it. So it's very, it's not super intense. But yeah, just the ends here, like so. As soon as I get underneath where there might be like some Specially special tangly spots because I don't mind if like the underneath part gets a little frizzy. You're not seeing that. It's a, the, the top part's the important part, and just kind of break things up a little bit. Soft and delicately, very gentle. I'm not saying this will work on every hair texture and type with wavy curly, but it works for for my hair texture. So if you have a day to experiment, you're not worried if your hair gonna have a bad hair day, go for it and see what happens. Because that's how I figured out everything with my hair is just through experimentation and trying things out and seeing what worked and what I liked. Every face hair is totally different. You can't fully, I think, categorize people's hair. Even curl patterns. We have multiple curl patterns throughout our hair. Uh, I guess you would normally just go with what the majority of your hair is. Because my hair can be anywhere from like a B something to a C something rather on the little scale. But it's all, it's different throughout. Like usually my front doesn't curl as well as the under layers do. And depends on how it's cut and what I've done to it. If I've tortured it and put a lot of curling products in or done bleaching or a lot of heat styling. It all plays in to how the hair is going to behave. And if there's a spot that is like just not looking right, you can always dampen that spot and hit it with the diffuser and kind of brush style it if you need to. And brush styling, you would take that one portion and just find which way the curl is wanting to go. And you would do this. And you see that does help even with your hair when it's dry, just to kind of get the curl to form back if it kind of just got a little wonky without even wetting it. But all right. So yeah, this has uh, been pretty effortless hair day, but this is what I tend to go for with my hair and how I style it next day after wash day and just breaking the cast up. Now tomorrow, it might be a different situation. I might have to go in and re-wet things, do all kinds of stuff. You never know. So I will show you what, if anything, I do tomorrow to it. Now at this point, I'll add a little bit of a texture spray. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my texture spray. This is the Heritage Magic Spell. It's my favorite one at the moment. Get the energy of those roots up. And what I like to do is take a little bit It towards the root area and just really gives it some grit and some fluff <laughs> because I do have kind of fine hair it benefits from that little bit of grit in there that like a dry shampoo or something would give you and this will offer a little bit of hold as well not a ton but a little bit and there we go okay there's that done you can zhuzh things up as you want with the pick. I like to kind of lift 
at the root with it and pull up. And then just sort of smooth things down. That just gives a bit of volume <laughs> that I did not have. And now I like to take a little tiny bit of hair oil. Sometimes I use the Super Zero Treatment Bar, which is a hair serum solid. You can use that to kind of take care of flyaways or anything like that. Today I'm just going to grab a little bit of the Just You hair oil. I'm almost out, so I'm going to use this sparingly because I don't need much. This is a very heavy duty oil, like it's very thick. So it takes a tiny bit, just like a little coating on my hands. Work that in and just smooth things over a little bit. Give it a little scrunchy scrunch. This kind of helps things kind of just stay together and form right. And it just does something. It's magical. But okay, there we go. That is next day our fresh hair. <laughs> And we'll see where it ends up tomorrow, and I'll take you along that little refresh journey. But I think it's nice to show the whole process and everything, and how unpredictable it can be at times. Never really know what you're going to get. But yeah, I like today's hair. This is good. This is what I like in my hair. Just a soft, wavy curl business. It's just loose and beachy and just kind of just fun, relaxed. If there's anywhere that I think needs a little extra hold, I do hit it with a little bit of hairspray just to kind of keep things in place. I am not opposed to a little bit of L'Oreal Elnet. Just do these end pieces. Again, it just kind of helps things stay together and, you know, it just, it just, it works, okay? <laughs> it's my process. I think there's no right or wrong when it comes to styling your hair. You can just... Do your best and get it to do what you want it to do. You don't have to beat yourself up about using silicones or whatever or a hairspray. Girl, just do what works for your hair. It makes you happy. Somebody's got a problem with it. Well, you know what? They can take it up with their own hair. Okay, so this is uh, where we are today. And I'm just going to live with this and let it be. All right. I'll uh, see you tomorrow and we'll see where things are. All right, hi. Okay, so we're day two. I just got home from the gym. Let's see <laughs> what's going on with this hair. It's not been taken out of the ponytail from last night, and I just went straight to the gym. So let's see what we're working with. <laughs> so what I like to do is just do this number, kind of get loosened up, And we'll just let it fall where it may and see how things are. I kind of like to give it a minute to relax before I really try to assess everything. But so far, I think we're looking okay. Some days it's definitely not the case. Some days it is a full refresh, wet the hair down, hit it with the diffuser, or go with the post-workout spray. You never know what it's going to be like. But yeah, let me grab my little white tooth comb and see how things are looking. I have, I did a lot at the gym and then yesterday was a pretty busy day around the house cleaning. So yeah, the hair has been used and abused. <laughs> the hair definitely got uh, not prioritized, even though it was not put up in a bun the whole time. And I have also taken a bath since then. So there's, you know, the humidity and stuff from the bath water. We'll kind of change things with the hair. Usually it just makes my curls get a little looser. So I'm just gonna make sure there's no like knots or anything crazy. I'm just gonna go through the ends. And I'm pretty gentle while I'm doing all this as well. I'm not pulling or anything like that. It's a deja vu, wow. Whoa, crazy deja vu. So far, that's how it's looking all right. So we've got it over here. But yeah, there's definitely days where I take that mixture of the gel and water, wet things down and re-diffuse a little bit. Like I don't get soaking wet or anything, but I just kind of dampen the hair and kind of try to get the clumps reformed. 
Oh, that, it, it depends on the day and what the hair is doing. But I usually can't ex assess everything until I've done this step. Let's see where we are. And are you not supposed to brush curly hair with this? It's fine. It's fine. It's your hair. Do what you want. Who cares? Tell me what to do and I won't tell you what to do. <laughs> People are very weird about these curly hair rolls and kind of anal about it and I just ain't got time for all that. It depends on your hair type and your texture, what, how you think is best to care for it. All right, I think we are looking pretty good. This front part is not looking great though. Overall though, it's not the worst. We can definitely work with this and fix it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of tangle a little bit. It's just this front part and yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It could use a little refresh though. So I'm going to give it a very quick, easy peasy refresh and not go full on like total restyling. Loosely reform things and kind of get it shaped up a little bit. But I don't think things are looking bad by any means. Like this looks nice. But you know, I look at it and think, well, I could do better. Or I can make it look a little better if I took a minute to rejudge. If I wasn't uh, like filming today or doing anything special, I would leave it at this and call it good. This would be perfectly fine for day to day to me. But for the sake of just showing you how I'd refresh, I think I can kind of show you a little quick snippet of a very fast refresh. Because this part I don't love. This part's looking a little meh and I think it could look better. So we can fix that. It's not a big deal. It's easy. So what I'm going to do is, since I did get a little sweaty today and yesterday, I'm going to take the We Dead No Sweat Post-Workout Spray. I'm just going to put a little bit of this right in here. Kind of work it in. This has apple cider vinegar in. And it just kind of freshens up the hair. It really does work great for a refresh. And I'm just going to give a little misting throughout. Sometimes I just use this by itself. It just depends on what the style and hair is doing. I'm going to take my water bottle that has a little bit of gel in it and figure out which one that is. You usually tell by this one will have bubbles in it. scrunch. It's usually the ends that I'll kind of focus on a little bit. Anywhere it's needing a little touching up. I'm not fully wetting my hair or anything. I'm just doing just enough. And you can let it air dry. You don't have to hit it with a diffuser. At this point I just I don't like letting it air dry. I get better results if I diffuse, so that's what I'm gonna do. And this doesn't take very long or anything. It's not like it's super time consuming. I mean, I'm gonna spend that time restyling, refixing my hair, no matter how I would, how I would have styled it. So it's not like it's taking any extra time away from like what I would normally be doing. Cause I'm still gonna be, regardless of the style, taking a minute to fix it for the next day, be it a blowout or a curly or whatever, even if I'm pulling it up, I'm still going to take like 10 minutes to sort it. <laughs> so I'm take the diffuser now, low speed, low heat. And there's still a little bit of dampness in it. So what I like to do normally is go ahead and get 
the rest of myself ready. Like I go ahead and do my makeup and all that. Then I come back and we'll kind of soften this up a little bit. Add a little hair oil, you know, that kind of thing. And then we are good to go for the day. So I'm gonna see you in just a minute for that little last refresh portion. But we'll just let that finish drying. Not a big deal. Just we're getting it about 90% dry. And then we'll return to do some final touch styling just to kind of scrunch out, crunch, whatever. And yeah, I just go ahead and do my skincare, makeup, everything else I need to get done and come back. So I'll see you guys in just a minute for that. But yeah, it's all dry now and everything. So I'm gonna do is just soften up, get rid of any crunchiness that might be in here. I'm gonna take a little bit of kick hair oil. You're just gonna soften things up like this. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. pick would be beneficial, but it's in the other room. All right. And here we are. Now, all refreshed and rejudged with a little bit of hair oil. Haha. -ha. Not bad for very fast refresh. Because again, short on time. Shush the roots. Always shush the roots. You never go wrong shushing the roots. Give me my big 80s hair. That's how I refresh my hair. Okay. So we'll see what things are looking like tomorrow if it's Time for a wash day or not. I'm gonna do this until it comes around to the next wash day. All right, I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, I think we're at the end of our little curly hair journey. We are back in the bun, which means it's been about five days. <laughs> it's time to wash it again and do all the things. But yeah, I just wanted to wrap the video up. I did do a refresh one more time after that last one in the same way. And then I just ended up being a lot of bonds because I was uh, cleaning the house and doing a lot of busy things. But I hope you might have got something from this video and how I style my hair. <laughs> was it the most aesthetic and informative video? Probably not. But that's how I style my hair. And it's real life. That's what I do. And it works for me. Let me know if you have any tips and tricks down below. And um what type of hair journey are you on <laughs> i'm on one for just healthier hair at this at the moment <laughs> but uh yeah the next hair video that i'll be doing will be all about how i do a blowout on my hair and style it kind of straight with a loose little wave in it and yeah i think that'll be fun just to kind of show my my two my two looks <laughs> straight or curly <laughs> either or not much in between Enjoy your curls and whatever hair you're blessed with. Enjoy it, love it, embrace it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay spooky. Bye now.